Hey, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. You know, a recent study from Harvard revealed that 61% of young adults are currently experiencing serious loneliness. Well, if you're watching this right now and you're also dealing with isolation or loneliness, loneliness, de definitely know that you are not alone. One of our viewers on YouTube wrote us about this struggle and they said, I'm a college student and I feel so isolated. I had a few friends that God told me to walk away from because they were leading me into sin. I obeyed, but the emotional pain of losing my friends is hard to bear and I feel alone. No matter what, it feels like I can't maintain any friendships. What should I do? It's a great question. Now, Ashley, there's yeah. some, I think there's some good things going on here and some yeah. hope. I mean, it depends how one looks at this. And yeah. first of all, there's many people, as you mentioned, going through this. Mm -hmm. And first thing, we, we do need to say that one of the great things is God spoke to her, yeah. which is wonderful. She yeah. listened and acted. Yes, yeah, that is amazing. I mean, to hear yeah. the voice of God, obey it, mm -hmm. and step out in it. Now, there's repercussions, obviously. Yeah. Obedience can be costly. Yeah. It can be costly, and sometimes we don't see the benefits of obedience until later. Mm -hmm. um, and in this case, this loneliness has set in. But I would just encourage you, think of why the Lord said this to you. Obviously, your heart had been breaking about things you were being led into. And, and try and meditate on and reflect upon on why you were in this heartbreaking situation, because your spirit was shaken. Don't lose mm -hmm. sight of why this decision was made. Yeah, definitely. And just, you know, some tips. You know, if, you, if you're a college student and you're a Christian, there are amazing Christian organizations that are on campus. If you're on campus somewhere, there's uh, uh, an organization called Crew, Campus Crusade mm -hmm. for Christ. There's lots of other organizations and, um, you know, just groups that'll help you get surrounded by like-minded yes. people. I know it's tough. It's really tough when, you know, you're, you're on this faith journey and you're really diving into the scriptures and just diving deep into your relationship with Jesus. And then friends whom you love and yeah. who you've known for a long time aren't you know, following that path. And sometimes- And don't respect the decision. And don't respect the decision and make it harder for you to live a godly lifestyle. Yeah. Um, so I, you know, Andrew and I would say, I'm sure you've dealt with it too, we understand. And, but here's the good news. As Andrew said, you're listening to the Lord, which is amazing. And you're doing it at such a young age. That's incredible. Um, sometimes it takes a lot longer for people to do that. So kudos to you. But I would just, you know, suggest that you get connected with other individuals who are like-minded, whether that's through a college organization on campus or your church. You know, I, I have connected with individuals who are even older than me in my church because mentorships, mentorships are huge. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for mentors in my life who are older and who can, you know, just help guide you. And I know yeah. there's this loneliness that comes about, very realistic, but there's also a peace that comes with stepping out of a particular lifestyle that you felt was not for you and you felt the Lord wanted you out of. And while the loneliness is there, there's a peace that can surpass understanding because you've removed yourself from that. I would also encourage her to perhaps, since this is someone who has acted in obedience and obviously loves the Lord, is there a local high school youth group you can mentor people? I mean, you've yeah, had the good. courage and the spiritual discipline yeah. and you've learned how to hear the voice of God. So can you benefit younger people, get involved with a high school youth group that may really really need and uh, benefit from your involvement. You can help younger people make decisions like you have. Yeah, definitely. How have you seen it in your own life, Andrew? How have you kind of dealt with maybe like losing friends? Do you think I've yeah. lost friends, Ashley? <laughs> you think people would walk away from me? <laughs> Well, I didn't I'm make, just wondering. I didn't I'm make, just curious. I didn't make decisions, as you as you said, like this until I was older. You know, okay. I was yeah. kind of, I had good friends, but yeah. I kind of ran with them. They ran mm -hmm. with me and I didn't make but that's a very mature spiritual decision someone yeah. has made. This is not good for my soul. This is mm -hmm. not good. There's consequences. And a lot of times I think people will step away from something. You know, this yeah. friendship isn't good for me. Our activities aren't good. And then when the loneliness occurs, they kind of step back in. Mm. So it's saying, staying yeah. consistent with that. But like you alluded Definitely. to earlier, I didn't make tough decisions like that until later in my life. Yeah, and I didn't either, honestly. But again, kudos to you for listening to the Lord because as you continue to just listen to the voice of God in your life, um, amazing things are going to happen. And, you know, following God, let's be honest, sometimes it's 
it's, it's not costly. easy. It's it, it is costly. Dying to self and being pruned and refined by fire. I mean, and we're told about this in scripture. Yeah, exactly. So don't expect, you know, every decision that the Lord is asking you to make um, is going to be easy, but it's got to be so worth it. And it's, Psalm 34 yeah. says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit. Yeah. So Jesus is with you. Absolutely. All right. Well, if you would like to ask us a question or give us a topic to talk about on the show, like we just did, make sure you visit our social media pages. Look for the posts on different platforms platforms such as Facebook and Instagram at 700 Club Interactive. You can also visit our YouTube page where we also post on the YouTube community tab with questions. Uh, so make sure you check us out on YouTube for extended interviews and stories and clips like this. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.